you are getting a morning commute intro i am on the road uh to go to work and y'all i over like i didn't even oversleep i just kept hitting snooze too many times and i could not get up for the life of me so i left a bit a little bit later but i'm going straight sorry if this is like shaking i am going straight to get coffee from duncan because if not it is going to be a rough day. So, I am taking you along on my day. It is two days until uh, fall break. So, there's a lot of things I have to tell you guys in this vlog. So, I'm super excited. But, yeah. Great day, Duncan. Hey, can I get a medium iced coffee with French vanilla swirl and add cream and sugar? Yes, ma'am. That'll be it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I just got done doing some stuff, got the PowerPoint put up, had to email some parents back. Um, so yeah, today is Thursday and um, then tomorrow's Friday and then it's fall break. So we still get a fall break. Um, I know some schools it's different, um, but we still get a fall break. So honestly, we are just trying to get, I'm trying to get grades in for the virtual kids. I'm trying to get grades in for my in-person kids, there was like some benchmark testing they had to take. We finally got iPads, which is so exciting because now we are one-to-one -one, um, with technology. And so yeah, super excited about that. So honestly, it's just kind of a rough schedule for today, like a rough layout because um, I'm just trying to get grades in, trying to get these kids caught up if they are behind on anything. So that's what you saw me passing out. I passed out a little bit of makeup work if they had it, and then their morning work, and then a conjunctions, um, just like review on conjunctions because we will take a little assessment on conjunctions tomorrow. So it is 7.40 and the kids will be here in five minutes. So I'm just going to do some last minute things and I will update you guys on what is going on in a little bit, but I just like don't have the time right now. So yeah. All right, so I had to make some parent phone calls. So I'm sitting in one of my admin's offices and because uh, my kids still have like their act their maps, music, art, PE, guidance, library, etc. They still have that in my classroom to reduce like moving of them. So they are in my classroom right now. So I don't have anywhere to go. So I just came. She's not in here. So I'm just calling um, a few parents right now and I will explain all that jazz later. But yeah, there's also a food truck here today for the teachers. So I'm super excited. I'm going to go grab that off the food truck in a little bit. So I'm like sweating. I need to take this off because I was just on the ladder getting that stuff down. It, that was still from the Rock Your School Day and I just hadn't taken it down because I've just been busy. But it is five minutes to one. So I'm about to hop on um, to Zoom um, and I wish you guys could see my to-do list. I'll have to show it to you in a second because it is seriously so long. Um, and I just like get overwhelmed just like even looking at it, but I have a lot of things to accomplish in like literally 48 hours. Like I don't have very long, actually not even 48 hours, more like 24 at this point. But um, yeah, so I'm about to log on. There is something all over my camera. We love that. Wait, I just like, my shirt's tucked in. So like, there's no easy way to do this. Guys, I'm just like struggling. I'm trying to clean the web camera <laughs> with my shirt, but it's tucked in, so 
So I just got done with my Zooms and so now I have a little bit of downtime to kind of explain to you guys what's about to happen. Um, I wanted to wait until obviously like the parents knew and everything like that. Um, so yeah, but I am after fall break, I will no longer be a virtual teacher. You guys know that currently I was doing half and half. So um, me and my teammate, Danielle, um, she taught math and science. I taught reading and social studies and we were splitting both in person, my in-person class um, and then um, the virtual students. And um, afterwards, after fall break, I will not be the virtual teacher. She will be the only virtual teacher and I am going to get to fill my classroom up. You guys know that I had a smaller class because we were doing both. So I only had 15 kids and now uh, I'm gonna be getting, I think seven more. So I am so excited i'm definitely going to miss my virtual kids but i'm just so excited to be in person lord lord being you know lord willing we stay in person um but i'm just super excited to um get to get more kids uh these new kids were virtual students who are returning um so i'm just super duper pumped i'm so excited um this has been a huge blessing because it has just been really challenging trying to do both and i've just kind of been like killing myself trying to get everything done and i'm just like a perfectionist so i want it done like the right way and i just there weren't enough hours in the day so i'm hopefully hoping i'm definitely hoping that things will get easier and better from here on out has nothing to do with the kids at all like virtual students or anything but with that being said i have so much to do in like that that was part of what the, i was telling you about because the parents i were calling earlier are my new parents that well not my new parents they're the virtual parents that i'm like confirming like hey you're gonna be in my class type deal thing um because all the virtual kids that are coming back won't all be in my class i don't have the capacity so some of them are having to move to other classrooms on the team which is fine but we were all needed to make contact with those kids so that's what i was doing i have to add i'm gonna be rearranging my room because i have to add five no i have to add no, I have to have five desks um, and I can explain more about that later, but basically all my room is going to be able to hold is five safely. And so we have like um, as something we're gonna implement that is gonna be kind of cool for the kids. But yeah, so without that, without further um, explanation, I've got more work to do, so. Okay, hey guys, so obviously I'm home now, but I wanted to show you uh, a few pieces that I got um, from a new uh, like jewelry boutique that I found that I have absolutely been obsessed with. Can y'all lay down? I like tapping everywhere. Okay, so anyways, I just wanted to show you, they they were so sweet and they sent me um, a few pieces, so I wanted to show you guys. I wanna make sure that you guys knew about them and I'm gonna link their website and stuff in my description. But the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is this. So I am obsessed with their stack sets. So this one is, to me it's pretty neutral. This is like a little pink one. Um, and then obviously this gold chunkier one. And then this is like a very, you can almost like not even, well, it like kind of looks pink, but it is just clear. So this is what I wore today. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I got so many compliments on them. Um, they're just so cute. And I like literally wore a t-shirt today, but just like spiced it up and gave it a cute little something. Next set that I'm going to show you is these bracelets. It's a stack set. Again, they all three came together. Um, and so this, I'm going to link all of these down below in the description, but this one is like a greeny color. They're so stinking cute paired together. This one is, I'm trying to like show you. And yes, so all of these put together are so stinking cute. I absolutely am obsessed. This one that I got, um, I can't wait to wear. I haven't um, paired it with anything yet, but it is this gold bangle and it has um, these stones on it. So super cute. Then I got some earrings from them and they are so stinking cute. They have these like this little piece in the middle that dangles and I absolutely love like dangly statement earrings. So super cute. Can't wait to wear them. This one is similar to the other bracelet. It is a silver bangle and then it has these studs on it which are so cute. So this one's a gray one. And then the last one I have to go grab. 
And then the last bangle set that I got were these gold ones. And these are probably my favorite because I just think that they look so just classic, classy. Um, they are just kind of like, you can throw them on, dress them up with anything. Um, I actually just wore these to a wedding and got compliments. But I absolutely love this dress up or whatever. I absolutely love it. Um, they look like such good quality. Um, so I am just completely obsessed with everything that I got from them. And I, like I said, I'll link everything down below. Go check them out. I absolutely love them. They've been so sweet to work with. So um, thank you so much, Bourbon and Bowties.